Top 10 Facts About Queen Elizabeth The Queen of England is one of history's most popular and longest-serving rulers. She is known to have disobeyed major political developments such as Africa's decolonization, Brexit, devolution in the United Kingdom, and a slew of other controversies that have rocked the royal family. Today, we'll look at 10 fascinating facts about Queen Elizabeth II, the beloved monarch of the United Kingdom. Before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Now, let's get started. 10. Service During the Second World War This is a noteworthy fact since she is the only head of state to have participated in World War II and the only female member of the royal family to have served in the military. The queen, then a princess, and her sister Princess Margaret were sent to Windsor Castle at the age of 13 for safety and protection. On September 13, 1940, five high-explosive bombs were dropped on Buckingham Palace. She gave her first public statement on BBC's Youngster's Hour from her Windsor drawing room, sympathizing with children who, like herself, had been torn from their parents. Despite the fact that some residents believed it was a smart gesture, others claimed it was a tactic to keep the public quiet about ongoing concerns. Queen Elizabeth was appointed Honorary Colonel of the Grenadier Guards on the morning of her 16th birthday and she led her first military unit on parade at Windsor Castle. She enlisted in the Auxiliary Territorial Service, ATU, the British Army's women's section, when she was 18 years old. Because of her work as an auto technician in ATS, the Queen was called Princess Auto Mechanic. 9. No license, no passport privilege. Her Britannic Majesty's Secretary of State begs and demands in the name of Her Majesty all those whom it may concern to enable the bearer to move freely without impediment and to provide the bearer such aid and protection as may be necessary. Reads the opening page of British passports. The Queen of England does not have a passport or a driver's license. Despite learning to drive at the age of 19 and being the world's most traveled head of state, having visited more than 116 countries during her reign. Because all other passports are issued in her name, this is the case. Of course, the privilege does not extend to other members of the royal family. You could see her traveling about her estate in her Range Rover if you chance to be in the vicinity of the palace. 8. On the day of her wedding, her crown snap. So, you know how everyone believes members of the royal family walk about in tiaras and jewelry all the time. Well, that isn't the truth, since the queen only got to wear a tiara for the first time on her wedding day to the Duke of Edinburgh, Prince Philip, in 1947. Her mother, the queen mother, loaned her the tiara. Unfortunately, the tiara shattered, and despite her mother's advice to wear a different crown, Queen Elizabeth insisted on wearing the same tiara. It was once a fringe necklace that belonged to Queen Elizabeth's mother-in-law. Fortunately for her, the royal jeweler Garrod was on standby to fix the tiara. It was taken to the workshop for inspection by the police and returned just in time for the queen's wedding. 7. She received her education at home. Yes, Queen Elizabeth was tutored, but not in a formal framework or system. Her schooling was limited to French, reading, writing, and piano lessons until she was seven years old. She also had the best teachers and received lectures from the Archbishop of Canterbury. Her governess was even described as Scottish and Edinburgh graduate, well-traveled, lover of fresh air and exercise by The Atlantic, an American magazine and multi-platform publisher. Queen Elizabeth began attending constitutional history classes when her uncle abdicated the kingdom to her father in order for him to marry an American divorced lady. 6. Corgis are her favorite. Moving on, we can't discuss the Queen of England without discussing her undying affection for corgis. Her Majesty has had 30 corgis since her accession in 1952, having loved them since she was a child, because they knew how much the Queen liked Welsh corgis. An increasing number of Welsh corgis were displayed during the Australian Canine Association's Royal Exhibition in 1954. The Queen now owns just two corgis, Fergus and Newick, named for her uncle Fergus Lyon and the state of Bomroll in England, respectively. She reportedly stopped producing them in 2015 so that she wouldn't leave any behind when she died. 5. She was born on two occasions. King George II established the double birthday custom in 1748 
and it has been followed by British kings for almost 260 years. He was born in November, which is generally a chilly month, but he wanted to have a big celebration. The Trooping Color is a common name for this other birthday celebration. The Queen's birthday is April 21st, which she likes to keep secret, whereas Trooping Color is held in June. The day is marked by a 41-gun salute fired in London's Green Park, as well as spectacular military displays by the British military and other Commonwealth armies. 4. Her wedding dress was paid for with coupons. Even after World War II, the British government continued to ration its population. Ration coupons were used to pay for the Queen's wedding gown, which was created by Norman Hartnell. However, the government provided her with 200 more coupons, and she'd also got hundreds of garment vouchers from brides to be around the country. 3. A teenager shooted at her. Marcus Sargent, then 17 years old, fired six blank rounds at the Queen during the Trooping Color in 1981, inspired by his fascination in the assassinations of John F. Kennedy and John Lennon. It was perhaps one of the most historic instances in which Her Majesty displayed such poise and dignity. Marcus was arrested and sentenced to five years in prison under the 1842 Treason Act. 2. She is the owner of all the swans and dolphins in the United Kingdom's waters. This rule goes back to 1324, when King Edward II enacted a decree that said, all whales and sturgeons captured in the sea or anywhere inside the realm will be taken by the king. The crown claimed all mute swans and dolphins in the kingdom as early as the 12th century. The swans were claimed as property due to their high value and delicate nature. Queen Elizabeth II owns all unmarked swans in specific areas of the Thames and its tributaries. 1. In James Bond 2012, she was a cameo. Who'd have guessed that the respected monarch would agree to make a cameo appearance in a James Bond film? In fact, the charming Queen Elizabeth consented to perform in a James Bond skit with Daniel Craig during the 2012 London Olympics. Kelly, the Queen's trusty dresser, was the one who broke the news to her, which she gladly accepted. The only request she had was that she say something in the movie because she was being rescued and couldn't keep silent the entire time. If you've seen the film or intend to, you've probably heard the famous line, Good evening, Mr. Bond. So there you have it. A handful of the most fascinating facts about Queen Elizabeth II, the Queen of England. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. We hope to return with another educational and enlightening topic next time. Have a wonderful day till we meet again.